on, that's ridiculous. Keep what? your weight in the back. What else do you want me to do? Hit the ball right. Fine. <laughs> ah! This doesn't work. I quit. Hello, my name is Ryan and I'll be demonstrating a swing today. Um, basically, there are three major critical factors involved in a baseball swing. The first critical factor starts with the grip. And most people have a problem with holding the ball or bat in the hand instead of the fingertips. So you, you should roll your fingertips like so. Factor number two is during the swing. Ball, arm should be extended like so. An L on the angle here. Weight distributed about 70 to 30. 70 on the back leg. And focus on the ball hitting the bat. I like so, and the follow through. It's called flexible factors that are included in this swing are they can have arms up like so, arm down like so. The major factors are in this part here. Follow through does not matter. The strides, there are different stride lengths that can be used. The popular one today is up and down. Um, there are different stances such as a closed, regular, open stance. Basically. I'm going to go through the swing and basically I have certain flexible factors. I like to keep my elbow up. I use an open stance and I step up. I use a bit of a leg kick like so. Step up and down always towards the pitcher and come through the zone and follow through. Okay and live speed it's something like that and Okay, so well, one internal factor is just the grip on the ball. Don't put it in the, in the, in the back of your hand. Put it in the fingertips and roll it forward. There you go. Both hands the same way. There you go. Closer together. Okay. It's better. Look at the pitcher next time. Look at the ball. Watch the ball hit the bat. There you go. I down in the zone. You can't see it when you're looking at his face. Okay, go. Okay, well, in order to fix this, we need to do one thing first. Your hips and your rotation and squash the bug. And then keep your head on what you're seeing, the ball. So you okay. want to look at the ball hit the bat, so you want to keep your head down and look at the ball hit the bat. Oh, actually watch the ball. Actually watch the ball. Okay, got it. Maybe. Well, you still ended up towards the third base line. That's where I want the ball to go. Well, not necessarily. We just want success here. Success hitting. There it is. So now the next factor that we want to check on is see if your head movement has been fixed. See if we can make you watch the, the ball. So, Go ahead and do a swing and try and keep your head on the ball. Uh, we want to watch, we want to focus on the contact between the ball and the bat. So your line of, your line of sight should be directly like this. So okay. look, focus on the ball coming in, imagine the ball coming in, and there it is. Good job. This is a very good drill for contact. To learn how to hit the ball, keep your eye on the ball, okay? See Kristen do this next. Strike one. <laughs> Strike two. Strike three. I'm out. So what you're doing is you're dipping. Dipping. Instead of going straight through the zone, it's kind of going up like this. Okay. So what you want to do is kind of keep it level. Okay. So focus on the ball. Focus on the bat hitting the ball. And picture hitting the ball. This is a great hitting drill because this allows the batter, the beginner batter, to hit the ball that's moving, but it's not moving from a live pitcher. So there are advantages and disadvantages. Good job. Oh, that's okay. There you go. Okay, now this drill is to do the hip rotation. So what she's demonstrating is a swing without a swing. 
So all she's going to do is work on her lower body and turn her hips facing towards where she's aiming to hit the ball. Very good, very nice. Now this drill incorporates using the bat and the ball. There really is no form to this, so you're going to choke up on the bat. This is what we call choke up on the bat. And you're going to make contact and then you're trying to aim it towards the player. So this is a drill of just contact with the baseball. It's a little hard. So Sorry. That's okay. You're trying to catch the ball with the bat. There you go. That's good. So the external focus of attention that we will be placing on the pitcher and its release point of the ball and the bat where it strikes the ball. Okay, now we're going to incorporate the critical factors and flexible factors according to my personal swing and we're going to take a shot at seeing what we can do here. Oh, shit. you to put your uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. the ball will be the object though so the the external focus of attention that we're going to place on this uh, drill right now will be on start over <laughs> so the external focus of attention that we're going to <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>